Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple pinch pot and we're going to work with air dry clay. So we're going to take a look over at my table here and I'll show you how to do this step by step. Okay, so I'm going to use my wire cutter and cut. You can also you know, use a knife tool or even a wooden tool or even your hand and just cut off a very small piece. I only need enough to make a ball and I'm actually going, since this is just my practice piece, I'm going to work with a smaller ball. It's important to seal my bag of clay. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of water, teeny tiny, and reseal this bag. I'm pushing all of the air out so that no air is in my bag of clay. I'm twisting it very, very close, and I'm going to put that to the side. Okay, I want to keep that clay wet, damp, not soaking wet, but damp, and sealed so it doesn't dry out. So to start the pinch pot, we're starting with a ball. And I have some water close to me and a wet sponge that I can just wet my hands just a little bit. And I can use that water also to help me just kind of smooth that ball into shape. So I'm also rolling in my palms and pushing the clay into a ball. The closer I get it to a really nice ball, the better. Now I have a nice surface here, it's a covered board, and I can also use that. You might also work on a cutting board you can carry around and I can roll the ball to get it really out oh, now it's getting really nice and smooth so once I have it really smooth I take my thumb into the center and push down into the middle like that Pause. okay so I have I'm not all the way through but I'm very close and what I'm doing is a pinching motion I'm pinching between my thumb and my fingers, which are staying together and flat, and I'm turning and pinching. Turn and pinch, turn and pinch, turn and pinch. And with my hands, I'm moving the clay from where it's thick to where it's thin. And I'm moving the clay up from the bottom. So up from the bottom, up to the top. I can also slide so I can take my other thumb or my fingers and slide the clay around. By pinching and turning and doing a small amount at a time, you're gradually moving the clay into an even thickness. And already the inside is looking pretty smooth. Take your time. I'm not making huge big dents. They're very small movements. And what I'm focusing on is making it very even and just letting it slowly come into shape. And as I'm turning, I'm also focusing on pinching in so that it doesn't open too much into a plate. So I can move around and decide to pinch more at the bottom or the top and move the shape around. At the top, it tends to get pretty dry, so I'm getting a little bit of water and just re-wetting that part there. Pause. Okay, so I'm continuing to pinch and turn and sometimes I slide, there's my sliding motion with my thumb, and my main focus is slowly, very slowly moving the clay into shape, and it's starting to form like a cup or a bowl, and this often forms the base of a larger cup or bowl, or finished piece, as you get good at this practice, you can work with larger and larger pieces of clay. So I'm speeding up now that you kind of know the basics. 
And I also alternate from side to side. Sometimes my right hand will pinch, and sometimes my left hand will pinch. And that's to even out the pressure, because my hands are kind of a little bit different. That helps me to get it more even. And I'm coming up towards the top of the piece now and pinching a little more at the top. And you mainly want to focus on feeling and pinching where it's thick. And that will push the clay to spots where it is thinner. And as I go, I can very slowly and gradually continue to pinch and shape this piece until the walls get fairly thin. In the ancient Americas, the indigenous Americans worked with clay using this technique, and they could shape pieces that were sometimes only a millimeter thick, or you know, a couple of millimeters in thickness, like less than a centimeter. So they got the, the thickness of the wall to be very, very thin. There's a lot that you could do with pinch pots. I could put two of them together and create a rattle or a whistle or a circle. I could make a head. Pause. Typing? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so as I start to finish the piece, I can also sit the piece down and focus on what kind of shape I want to create. I can pinch in to make it come in more, or I can pinch out to get it to open out more into a plate or bowl. And I can also use um, wooden tools. And this is a good way to smooth and shape the clay. You can pat it or, or press it smooth. And it works better if it's a little bit wet. So if I wet that, there we go. It's not soaking wet, but just wet enough to slide along the outside of the piece. And this is a good time to practice with your different tools and see what shapes they make and see how you can use them differently. And you know, checking it, the bottom of the piece is often heavy. So I still have a lot more clay down here than I have up at the top. So I'm gonna continue to pinch and turn and smooth this piece. And just to show you what you can create, this is a whistle that I created with a pinch pot and then I just kept pinching until I closed it in. And after I closed that part in, I could carve and create the actual whistle. <laughs> Two pinch pots together and some balls of clay on the inside create a rattle. <laughs> so this can become many different things um, besides just a functional bowl. So as you're cleaning up, make sure you're using water and a sponge. And I have a water bucket and my sponges. And I'll start by just sponging my hands. And then I'll also sponge my work table and my tools. You don't want to sweep. You want to use water and a sponge. And you know, I'll also sponge the area where I was working and my hands. I don't want to just wash the clay down the sink. Um, we want to let that clay water sit and sediment, and then we dispose of the sediment. So this piece actually is not finished yet, and what I can do is I can take some plastic wrap, and I'm going to wrap the piece. So I like to recycle. So I've got some recycled plastic, and I want to seal out the air. Air is what will dry this and make it hard. So I'll turn that around the side there. So it'll also change the piece, so I should be a little more careful there as I'm wrapping this piece. 
Um, but I just want to close that in. You might even tape that. I'd probably take a piece of tape and tape that closed. You can also spritz the piece. So this is my spray bottle of water. And to help keep the piece wet, and give it just a little bit of water. I don't want to soak the piece and drown the piece, but just enough to keep the piece wet. So we'll just twist that closed, and I can tape that closed, and come back to it and finish it and turn it into something later. I hope that this helps you uh, Get off to a good start. Pinch pots are a good foundation for making all sorts of pieces from cups and bowls to plates to sculptures um, to you saw the rattle and the whistle that I shared with you. But practice this technique. It takes a couple of times to get good at this. So start small about the size of your hand and just practice this technique two or three times and you should get really great at making pinch pots. Thank you, bye-bye.